bulbs. I finally got a name for you. It's light bulbs. I almost chose highlighters, but I thought light bulbs might be cuter. So that's what you're stuck with. I hope you like it. So today I'm going to be talking about things that I'm very passionate about, things that I passionately hate. So for the most part, it's really important to me to have a positive impact on people in my life, whether it be online or in real life. And that's kind of what my channel is about, is about like positivity. However, I think it's important to show that I'm not just this like happy, perfect person all the time, like I am a human being. And so to prove that, today I'm going to be telling you all the things that I hate. First things first, I hate being touched. I'm not a super affectionate person. Like I don't like when my family touched me. I never liked when my mom touched me. Even when I was like a baby, I didn't like to be picked up or held or anything. I'm more affectionate with whoever I'm with, so I'm kind of touchy with Lonnie, but even he'll tell you like I'm not affectionate all the time. I don't know why. It gives me like anxiety and creeps me out and I just, I don't want people to touch me. I think people are gross. Like don't leave me alone, please. I hate routine. I need change and excitement in my life. So I always have to be doing new things. Like if my life isn't exciting, I feel like it's meaningless and I get depressed. So I always have to be changing things up, which isn't that good because that makes me like quit jobs easily and give up on things easily. I get bored. So I'm like, What's the next thing? What, what is that? What else is there to learn? I hate people who aren't aware of their surroundings. Like if I go to Walmart or something, I'm walking down the aisle and there'll just be someone like smack dab in the middle, like totally unaware that people are trying to get past them. Like, oh my God. I just can't imagine being so blissfully aware that there are other people in the world. Like who, who goes out of their house and thinks they heckin' own the place? Get out of the way. I hate when I'm at a show and people yell when the vocalist or whatever is trying to talk. I think it's so rude and disrespectful and ugly and like not funny at all. The reason that's on my mind is because me and Lonnie recently went to see Hobo Johnson here in Vegas and he was trying to tell us some like deep story, like he was trying to open up to us like about his family or something and I could barely hear him because people were just screaming for him to like take his shirt off and that they loved him and shit, which is like, okay, I get like you're trying to be funny but he's trying to be like deep and serious and, and you are being just so rude and just, just a jerk. If I was a musician and someone did that at my show, I would literally kick them out. I hate tardiness. I don't know where this came from. Everyone in my family is always late to everything. Maybe that's actually what it came from. I can't stand being late. It gives me so much anxiety. It literally makes me like shake thinking about it, especially when it's not my fault that I'm late. Like if I'm going with someone and they're running late and I'm late and just, and I think it's so rude and I have plans with someone and they show up late. Like, especially if you know like hours or days or fucking weeks in advance, like you plan ahead. You know what time you have to be there. You know how long it's going to take and you know how long it is to get ready. Like that's so rude. I can't stand it. Oh my God. I hate people that call other people toxic. Like there's no such thing as a toxic human being. Take accountability for yourself. I hate that everyone these days has like a severe lack of transparency with their emotions and their thoughts. Like I'm too old for that shit. If you have feeling or emotion, I need you to tell me it exactly so we can like figure it out. I don't have time for no games. I don't have time to be figuring out, to be reading your mind. Back in high school, I used to hate the kids who were like mean to the teacher or disruptive in class. Like, <sighs> get help. I hate those shitty boys that only talk to girls when they're drunk or sad or all over the like sloppy drunk girl at the party. Like you're rapey and creepy and you either need to get help or go to jail. And last but not least, my ultra biggest pet peeve is I hate when people talk over me or interrupt me. Like this, oh guys, it, it grinds my gears. Because if someone's interrupting you or talking over you, it means they're not listening to you. Or like they're listening to respond, not listening to understand. And that really bothers me because I put a lot of work into how I talk and how I portray what I'm thinking. It's like important to me to be transparent with people. So when I'm trying to do that and then someone talks over me, it just like makes me freaking go crazy. So if you ever meet me in real life, please don't interrupt me or talk over me. Thanks. So I think this has been a sufficiently negative video. <laughs> I actually feel good. It feels like I just had a mini vent sesh. So thanks for listening. Thank you, my beautiful little light bulbs for watching. I think that is going to be your guys' name. So I have the name figured out. I still don't have an outro figured out yet. So. <laughs>